there, it's Sandy, and today I'm going to show you something a little different. This is a sketchbook that I did, oh, years ago. I think it was before I even wrote my book. And I was practicing some lettering. I was taking part in a Bible lettering challenge on Instagram and doing a different verse every day. And I did them in all different kinds of mediums. But what I thought I'd do is flip through them, and I'll pause long enough that you can screenshot if you see something that you would like to grab and use in your Bible. So the word grace, now, there, was, there were Bible verses for each one of these, but I didn't always write down the verse at the time. I just wrote whatever it is that I wrote. Here I used the shield imagery to put the shield into. On something like this, I am not that tight of a letterer to get all that very even. So I'm pretty sure I printed this out of my computer and then traced it using a light box, just sticking this page, you know, with the light box in between here so that I could feel fancy because I was practicing my lettering, but I have since realized that that is not my gift. But this is my gift. I drew a bunch of buildings and made sure I left enough places on the different walls of the buildings to be able to add the words for the verse. And that was really a fun thing to do. I've done some pages similar to this. There's lots in here that I would like to do in my Bible. If there's something in here in specific that you'd like to see on this YouTube channel, let me know which one it is and describe it carefully enough that I can figure out which one you're talking about and leave that in the comments. Um, immeasurably more, always make sure you put whatever verse God is speaking to you. If there's a phrase in particular, blow that up, make it big, make it different colors or something so that you remember what the emphasis was that God put on it. Sometimes you might hear God say, God is able, and that's the part that you want to put the emphasis on. When I did this one, immeasurably more was much more important to me at the time. It is for freedom that Christ has set us free. This one, I did the lettering in, I believe this is Tombow markers, and then I spritzed it. I wanted to make it look like, I don't know, fireworks maybe? <laughs> Not sure what I was doing there, but yeah, it got a little crazy. Here I have some in black and white lettering, which is kind of a nice idea as well. And the banner attached to the circle was fun to do. And swooshes, I don't do nearly enough. I don't do nearly enough lettering, like fancy lettering in my Bible, which I enjoy doing. You can see I, I enjoyed this challenge and I have a couple of these sketchbooks. I just don't do it very often. Here I clearly did not plan enough room for the in you <laughs> probably could have done that better but if you end up doing this one and you want the white outline you can either paint very carefully around it and of course in your bible it's going to be really small so you might consider doing a white pen outline after you finish it that might work better and here i was using color to emphasize the portion of the verse that I was most attracted to because I don't want to think about what I'm afraid, but I want to think about putting my trust in Jesus. There is a version of this one that's in my Bible. I don't know that I've ever made a YouTube video out of it, but this one is quite beautiful with all the different types of fonts. If you're interested in doing this kind of thing, I do have a typography for Bible journalers class over on my website. There's a link to it down below and you can check that out and learn how to do things like this. This is not one of the lessons in it, but it is a cool lettering thing. This one, I remember painting this in something called brusho. Brusho is a powdered pigment. And what I ended up doing was painting this in water and then dropping the pigment in and it bursts out into colors and makes interesting textures and things. I remember it being hard to do because I was trying to get separation between these and that powder runs. so. I guess I did a fairly decent job of it in mine. And this one has to get back in my Bible. I remember intending to put this into my Bible and I didn't. So this one is going to go in because remembering the things he can do and putting all of those in here and then just these things are the stuff he can't do. He can't get tired. He can't be overwhelmed. He can't break a promise. He will never forget you. And he cannot stop loving you. I thought that was a beautiful execution that I came up with for that one. 
no word from God will ever fail. Amen and amen to that. And this is another one I would like to get into my Bible. Maybe the idea, I think this verse I've done in almost all my Bibles, um, but just putting a scene into the text and embedding a scene into the, the lettering, I thought was kind of a fun idea. And here's one I just sketched in pencil. Jesus Christ is the same yesterday, today, and forever being the, the big splashy word here. This one I've done a couple times. It was originally in this sketchbook. I did it as a painting, like an actual watercolor painting, and um, also put this in my Bible. And I think there's a YouTube video for it. I think. It doesn't have all of this with it, but it does have the glass. And I will link you to it if I find it. Grace be with you all. And there's the all. All of the, the people wishing for grace for you. This one actually made it into my book. So doing paths and things became a thing in the book, became a whole lesson. And it's a great way to be able to write out any verses that have to do with paths, journeys, growing, that kind of thing. And here is one, Jesus himself is our peace. And uh, that would be lovely for any kind of Palm Sunday, but again, with anything having to do with peace as well. And this one, this piece got torn out. So it used to have fear here and boom, it's gone. Now that you can't really use in your Bible necessarily. You're not going to tear your Bible apart, but you could draw this piece separately down at the bottom so that it clearly is getting cast out but I'm not sure that that really works for a Bible journaling idea even though it was great in the sketchbook. Let's see what else do we have here. You are the salt of the earth. A nice rendering of that. I think I've done salt shakers several times. I will find videos of those if I have them. Simply ask. You do not have because you have not asked. And what a good reminder to put into your Bible. Do not be afraid of them. The Lord God himself will fight for you. So I made it into a boxing poster, like a fight poster, that you can go buy tickets and God will himself will fight for you. But you know what? You don't need a ticket. All you need to do is give him your heart. Boom. It's done. And then something stuck here. Oh, I apparently had some fancy glitter on this one, putting flowers in here, and then just writing out the verse itself. And dun dun dun. Be filled with the Holy Spirit. Now, this is all, I believe, watercolor pencil, it looks like. At least the outlines look like they're watercolor pencils, so it probably all is. This was many years ago, so I don't remember much about what I did. And here we have, for he chose us before the creation of the world. So I did a galaxy with that brush -o powder. This is what it looks like when you just spritz it. And then I did the lettering in white, apparently, that got kind of bluish because it soaked up all the color of the brush -o powders. Create in me a pure heart with just a wash of color. And I used a white pen, I think, and then I added this stuff called glossy accents on top of it. If you use glossy accents in your Bible, just make sure you let it dry completely because it is a glue. It's an actual adhesive. So you want to make sure that you don't glue your Bible pages together. And walk by the Spirit. This was an exercise I was doing in negative lettering. So I was only coloring the spaces in between the letters, not the letters themselves. And finally, put on love. This may have ended up on my channel. I'm not really sure. I will go and look and find out. But get dressed and put on love. 
And here we have Refuge. And I am not a fancy letterer, but I spent a lot of hours on that. I remember it taking a very long time to do this one. And it came out pretty spectacularly, but lots of fun. And he lives in me with the H-E filled with, you could put, I've got leaves in here, but you could put anything in there as well. You can put flowers, whatever. And as long as this looks like it's in the same kind of colors so that when you squint, you just see the he, because otherwise you could lose it. Or you could just put a light color, a light hue of something in behind there so that your, your he reads as he. And he who is free is free indeed. And we are free indeed, freed from captivity. Isn't that beautiful? That one might end up in my Bible too. I love finding these old sketchbooks and finding out ideas that just never made it there because now they're right here. Here I am, send me. Come on, Jesus, give me an assignment. I am ready. That looks like it. So if you ha see, saw anything in here that you think would be good for a YouTube video, let me know. And I'm going to see if I can find another one of my sketchbooks for next week because I think there's another one in the pile there. All right, I will see you soon. Take care, guys. Ta-ta and have a great week.